Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do your daily love update, my darlings. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to be for all of you, okay? So please just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. I feel like somebody's doing a lot of drinking out there. Somebody is. And uh, fighting. There's a lot of drinking, fighting, watching you. I'm just reading the splits, right? Um, but anyway, Cancers, thank you so much, man, for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. And like I said, if I always say, if this doesn't fit your story, you know, if it's if it's not resonating with you, it's probably not for you. So don't try to cram it into your world, okay? All right, so Cancers, can you give it one more shuffle here? All right, what can you show me for Cancers, Divine? What messages do you have for Cancer today? What messages? We're just freestyling it, guys. You know, what comes out, comes out. What messages do you have for Cancer? What messages do you have for Cancer? Okay, somebody's coming towards you, I feel. It's a victory card. Yeah, I feel like they want to take all these swords out of there. They just want to stop hurting. They want to stop hurting. I feel like they're flying in to talk to you here. This is a completion to the cycle. They want to put an end to all this betrayal, all this pain. There's somebody coming towards you here, Cancer. Wanting to hook up, wanting to meet up. This is somebody who's bossing up, maybe. An emperor. Clarify this. Having a tower moment. I feel like this person, I feel like they just ended it with somebody else. To be honest with you, I feel like this person just ended something with someone else. Uh, maybe even several people here. We've got three feminine energies here. And a couple being tossed out of a building. Okay. I feel like this emperor is bossed up. Um, I feel like they're getting ready to communicate with you. They don't really want to confront everything, though. I feel like they want to just stop the hurt. They want to stop the suffering here. They don't want to discuss every little in and out of this. They just, um, like, this is somebody who is not in a good mood, okay? They're not in a good mood. They may even show up and be angry a little bit. Um... They know they made a, uh, a lot of bad mistakes, okay? Um, this person could be in poor health. And I feel like, you know, here, look, they're in a lot of regret. A lot of regret. They, they needed to make a decision here. I feel like they chose other people over you. Turn their back on you completely, right? Um, and whatever else they chose here, there was no love in those cups. It was just blood and sand. This person's in a lot of regret. They know, I feel like they know that you're a twin flame soulmate connection. This is a very powerful connection. Okay. And I really feel like something is ending here for this person and they want to have a victory with you. They want to take away all of this hurt and betrayal, I guess. That's what I'm seeing. And they're coming in to communicate, but I don't think they're in a very good mood. Um, they want to heal this with you, Cancer, but I see the, I always see the star energy as your energy, even though it's Aquarius. But I, I just do. I feel like you're a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. You're out here being awesome, and whatever this person chose... I feel like they were in a long-term commitment, possibly up to six or seven years here. They worked on something very, very hard, um, put a lot of effort into it, was hoping things would work out, but they can't reap any benefit, any reward from this. They can't have any of these pentacles that they worked for. Only this one that's dropped to the ground. I feel like, they, you know... They're hanging their head, hanging their head, right? Um, kind of in shame here and embarrassment, but also knowing that they wasted a lot of time in a long-term commitment, okay, that really in the end it didn't benefit them at all. As a matter of fact, this person could end up losing a lot of money 
by leaving a, another um, like it, this is like a foundation, a relationship. Okay. I feel like they're leaving something behind to come towards you, their star. Like they're saying here, these came out together, right? They're saying here, uh, they can clearly see now that they should have chose you because whatever it was that they were in, that they worked on for so long, it really didn't give them anything in return. Now they know they can have a new beginning here. They have an opportunity for it. And this person knows they should have chose you the whole time. I mean, they're in a lot of regret for turning their back on you. You know, they are. Cancer. Yeah, this person wants to reach out. You're their empress. You're their empress here. Um, you've got the best love of all to give. Uh, this is the most loving queen in the whole entire deck. Her M.O. is love, being nurturing, being kind, giving, right? That's you along with this beautiful, peaceful, um, healing energy, right? That you're pouring back into the world. You're doing something in the public eye. You're easy to spot, Cancer. It's your energy, though. It's that high vibing glow that you have, okay? Um, so whatever it is that you're putting out there for people to see, you're attracting a lot of attention here. Um, and you're very, very abundant. You may be working on a creative project here. It could be something spiritual, something healing, right? Something in the public eye, kind of bringing you some stardom here maybe with the star. Um, again, you're very, very abundant. You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in a deck is 10, right? Um, and you're by yourself. I see you as being single out here, growing a possible business. You guys could be business owners, bosses, very intuitive, very connected to the divine, very loving. Yeah. What is there not to love? You are this person's wish. Seriously, Cancer. You're their wish. What is there not to love? Okay. Um, and so they want to reach out, right? They're stepping towards you here very gently, very cautiously, right? Um, because this person has a lot of regret for how they treated you. Uh, feeling like they wasted their time and effort in something else, right? that's coming down, that's falling apart. I feel like the divine had everything to do with that demise. Yeah. The divine is like, uh, buddy, you stood here like this for so long, not wanting to confront anything, not wanting to move forward, just playing around with multiple people, third party situations. You know what? We had to make the, the decision for you. Something had to give. And it's not going to be this divine one. It's not going to be this earth angel. Because mm -mm. you know what? You're out here being single. You're good just the way you are. And it, like you, you really worked for everything that you've got. All the abundance coming in for you. Um, the happiness. The healing. This, the connection that you have with the divine. Right? All of it. Um, you worked for and you were loyal to, to God for it. You've been on a spiritual journey, right? That's what I'm seeing here. And it's led you to the Empress status and the Minor Arcana Man, very abundant. The Divine had to bring something down here because your person just... Third-party situations and thinking about you. Third-party situations and thinking about you. And, and they're like, we can see who you're focused on. You know, Cancer's person, we can see who you, that you're watching th this Cancer. I feel like you guys are a divine feminine or masculine. Take it however you want. But something's got to come to an end here. So we're going to help you out, says the divine. We're going to help you out, person. And we're going to bring this thing down because it's really, it's not... It's toxic for you anyway, and you're not benefiting from it. It's not what you want anyway. They're, they're bringing this down. Something had to end. So this blessing can come through. <laughs> Could be dealing with the Virgo, 
right? I've got a King of Pentacles here, and this is m only my Virgo card, right? Could be dealing with the Gemini, um, Aquarius, but I feel like that's your energy. You could be definitely dealing with a Scorpio here or a Taurus. Yeah, but I feel like this person, you know, they were committed, but I feel like that's coming to an end. Death, you know, that something has to end so that something new can begin. It's the beginning of the new cycle. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like there's a big breakup and shakeup where your person is. Um, so that this new be this new beginning, this blessing from the divine can come through here. Your person, they know that this is true, unconditional love. They're stepping towards you here. Uh, this could be an, uh, any earth sign. Um, doesn't have to be, though. This is somebody who could be a boss, business owner. Um, very money-minded, right? Focused on their financial stability. They may be defending themselves in this, uh, what? because this toxic situation, this toxicity, wherever your person's been bound to, chained to, they're about to be released from it, I'm telling you. The divine's out here causing that tower for your person. They're really on the defensive, though. They may be having issues like, with their reputation in this um for some of you for some of you not all of you your person's gotten an std that could be the sudden realization tower moment that causes this death it's all orchestrated by the divine you know if this is a twin flame soulmate connection that your person should have chosen when they were given the chance this devil energy's got to go, says the divine. You know? You know? Yeah, I think they may have gotten an STD. That is my STD card. That is my STD card, and I only have two of them in all of my decks, and this is one of them. I really feel like maybe this person, uh, I feel like they could have had a... I feel like, honestly, I feel like they have an STD. I feel like they got an STD. There's a lot of fighting wherever they are. There's a lot of fighting wherever they are. I, I feel like um, you're not speaking to this person. You're standing in your strength and your power. I feel like, yeah, sabotage. Look, look at all of this. This is the justice that they get for being manipulative and for having the sabotage, sabotage done on your relationship, they could, they may not have been the one to sabotage it. It may have been someone else, but they believed someone else over you, over a divine being, over an earth angel. Come on. How much more evidence do I need here? And look at where the divine has brought you. Yeah, this is earth angel energy, twin flame energy. This, this is... Look, this is spiritual war, okay? This is a spiritual battle between God and the devil. Your person, they had a choice. They chose something toxic, okay? But that connection between you two didn't go away. It didn't just go away magically. No, no. It remained on your person's mind and in their heart this whole time. The divine knows it. They see all. So, yeah, um, this is coming to an end. There's a lot of fighting going on. Uh, but this is, this is their justice. I feel like this is their karmic justice for manipulating you, for allowing this connection to be sabotaged. This is their justice for whatever, for choosing the devil over someone who um, quite possibly is a divine being. Okay, I got a lot of evidence for that right here, just in four cards, okay? Um, yeah, so, yeah, this is what they get. You know, that's what, the, that's what the universe is saying. This is your justice. 
You know, I feel like this person picked up an STD. I feel like that was the last straw. I feel like um, that's the piece of information that brought down this tower in whatever situation they chose over you. You know, and now I feel like they want to come towards you. They're in a lot of regret. They're hiding how they feel. They're feeling very ashamed, embarrassed over their choices and their and how they treated you okay I feel like this person totally knows they completely know that this is their karma for screwing over an earth angel okay I feel like they know this um yeah this person yeah what did I say they screwed over an, an earth angel they, they had player energy with you. This person was a player. And you know what? They got an STD. And that's cause and effect. And that is justice. That's karmic justice. You know, they're in a lot of regret now because if they had chosen you, they would be with, an, with a very um, abundant empress who happens to be a healer, spiritual being, right? In a blessing, in love, uh, with unconditional love, but instead, this person chose something sexual, toxic things, toxic relationship, and they they got an STD. Like, what did you win, Bob? Right? Yeah, they got an STD. Now this person wants to apologize. They want to get you to calmer waters, but you guys know how I read this one depiction. You know, I could easily say, they're coming to apologize, Cancer. They're going to take you to calmer waters, Cancer. That's not what I'm seeing here. They want to get you to calmer waters. Yeah, they do. They know they made a mistake. They know they totally effed up. Okay, Cancer, I'm not going to lie. But if they come to get you now, they're going to put you in this boat where they will have control of it. Okay? They're going to cover you up with a blanket so you don't really have much of an opinion about being seated around all of these burdens. See where you think? Thank you, Divine. They face plant you right in with their burdens. They're very burdened. I feel like be very careful. Use your discernment. This person is coming in to apologize, but all their... All they can really give you right now is a fish because you know what? There's something wrong. <laughs> There's something wrong with their wand because they've been wrapped up in this devil energy, okay? And being a player, Cancer. Yeah, they want to apologize. Yes, they want to get you to calmer waters, but they have an issue here that they will give to you. And you will have to go through that burden as well, okay? I feel like they want to talk about the day that they walked away from you. Could be dealing with, um, honestly, it could be any sign. We've got them all out here now, guys. Um, it could be anybody, but, you know, this is an air sign, King of Swords. This person stands for communication. I feel like this person cut you out. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they're thinking, you know, I feel like they want to apologize to get you to calmer waters. But with this STD, they may just decide to, no, because now we've got this. This person wants to talk. I feel like this is a definitely a person who walked away. I think they've given it thought, though, about walking away, I've got to say. They've given it a lot of thought about walking away from you because of this STD and all, all of the crap that they've done. But I don't think they can. I think they, they feel like they really need to come forward and tell you how they feel about you. <laughs> I, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Part of them is thinking they should just walk away because they know who you are now. They know what you mean to them now. Do you see what I'm saying? And they know if they come forward, they'll be able to apologize, but where is that going to get them? Because they'll be burdening you with a possible STD. Okay? So they're kind of back and forth. They're back and forth. Like, 
I should just I should just walk away from this, right? But I really want to tell Cancer how I feel about him because I know Cancer has been trapped in her mind for a really long time. So they're kind of weighing the scales here, right? What should I do? Because this person, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna take action. They really want this with you. They 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 know that you're the one. They know that you're the blessing and love. They you're the one that they want. And they know that they can have the ultimate happy life with you. This is a dream life, man. This is the kind of life everybody dreams about, everybody wishes for, right? It's the Ten of Cups. You are their Ten of Cups, Cancer. I feel like this person is going to communicate. I feel like they're going to communicate with you, but I really am still feeling like there's still kind of, there's a part of them that wants to walk away because they know that they've got something here. They've got some kind of sickness, okay? There's something wrong with the wand, right? Yeah, yeah, see, there's something wrong with the wand. They're really burdened by this, but they, they this also stands for wanting to take action. This is someone who's who could be very good looking, like extremely good looking, um, dresses good, smells good, uh, somebody who's really active, you know, goes after the things that they want, somebody who's good at schmoozing, you know what I mean? Someone who's really charismatic, um, someone who makes you laugh, maybe. Yeah, they're they're very burdened. Um, they may not they may not know who gave them this STD, to be honest with you. But they're emperoring up. So far, we're getting all of the kings out here. You know, so they're getting ready to boss up, make a decision, and come and get you, I feel. You know, they're, they're still kind of, they don't know what to do about this STD thing, and they may not even want to talk about it, but I, I see them biting the bullet, right, and coming in and communicating with you. I re they're taking action towards their Ten of Cups, okay? And you know it. You guys are connected, man. Okay, they're getting enlightened. I feel like you're intuitive. I feel like this is you. This is your person. You could be dealing with the Pisces, but not necessarily. I feel like you guys are intuitively, like, communicating with each other. You know this person's coming. You know they're coming. I feel like you can feel it. Yeah, this person's coming in, I feel, to stabilize things, right? Um, call a truce, make amends offer you some kind of stability this is the offer that's been so slow moving and this is the one that you wanted um i feel like you're not really focused on love right now i feel like you're focused on growing your pentacles and your new future but um and be careful you know anyone who approaches you use your discernment and your intuition because these people will try to hide these things okay and I feel like if you sleep with this person unprotected, especially, you're going to get an STD because I really strongly feel like they have one. Okay. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I got for you for this one. I am going to take this over to Patreon. There's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box if you want to see the extended. I want to go through like how they're feeling. It's hard to tell with the... Uh, the emperor doesn't give off a lot of emotions, okay? I am getting the energy of every king in the king in the deck. Yeah, that's the emperor, but they don't. They're not real emotional. So I'm gonna go through the mixed emotions deck and really dig in deeper and kind of get a deeper look at what's going on with their emotions towards you, okay? Yeah. So anyway, cancers. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel. Help me keep growing, guys. Um, and until next time, Cancers, take care of you. And peace out.